Hello, welcome to this video. In this video, we are going to see how to create a site. In order to create a site, one has to execute transaction WB01. As we can see, here we have to give the four digit code, site code with which we wanted to create a site and we have to create give the plant profile in our earlier videos we have seen how to create a plant profile so if required we can give a reference plant before doing this we have to maintain revaluation profile at retail level for that go to spro img materials management valuation and account assignment Valuation at retail. Here we can see revaluation profiles. So these are different standard revaluation profiles which will evaluate a material once taken in and considers the different set of data into account. So here are different data for promotions, for price changes, for counting etc so as per the requirement one can create a revaluation profile so once created then we can start creating the site so we have to give the four digit code we have to give the plant profile we have configured click on enter we can see as per the plant profile data which we which is maintained a different organizational data is already appearing go to inventory management so the revaluation profile we have maintained for that we have to give the revaluation profile and give the valuation only then when any article created for this plant or site then for those articles we can do GR without valuation at retail checkbox we can't do GR so now since this is a DC which we are creating so now we can see both customer and vendor are enabled here click on customer system by default create a customer with the same code with which the site is getting created here you can see the customer is created similarly click on vendor so now you can see this site will act as both customer and vendor since we have taken the plant profile as DC specific plant profile click on save So now we have saved this site. So now we can see whether this site is assigned to a company code or not. 
here we can see whatever be the site we have created it is assigned similarly it is assigned to the plant or whatever be the site we have created it is assigned to this purchase organization by default so this is how a site can be created so we have seen how to create a dc and that too with reference to a plant or a site so now we will create a store i am giving a site code or a plant code as kl02 for that i am using a plant profile created for store and i am not giving any reference plant click on enter so now system is asking do you want to determine the reference plant from the plant profile i'll give no so now previously since we have given a plant profile this all org data appear automatically from that reference plant now we have to give everything manually So now, here you can see, as we discussed earlier, store will act as a customer to distribution channel, distribution centers. So now you can see here only customer is appearing, whereas previously while creating distribution center, we use we get both customer and vendor. Since store acts as a customer to distribution center, we can see only customer. Click on customer and click enter so that the customer relevant data we have created will automatically get updated and a customer for this store KL02 will get created automatically. So now click on save. So now I clicked no, then system is prompting to take the reference plant into consideration. Now, if we go to IMG, Enterprise Structure, Assignment, Logistics General, Plant to Company Code. Here you can see the store that we created just now is assigned automatically to company code. Similarly, the purchase organization we have created is also assigned to this new created store or plant KL02. So now one can go and create storage locations as and when required besides the ones that already created. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching.